Dear viewers, today I will discuss about herniated disc and MRI. At first, I need to uh, discuss uh, in a short what is MRI. MRI basically very strong magnetic field. It takes images of our body part to find any pathological issues. So in herniated disc or disc prolapse, they use MRI as well. So what it picks up, it picks up whether the disc moved to backward or side or left or in the middle or in the central. Is MRI all the time accurate for herniated disc? No. It can be false positive or false negative. What does it mean? False positive means someone may not have disc prolapse but MRI can pick up a disc prolapse. And from my experience, I have seen one of my patient, he did not have any disc prolapse, but based on MRI scan, uh, he went uh, under a surgery. And before completing the disc uh, surgery, they found he doesn't have any disc prolapse. So it can be a false positive. On the other hand, some people, they might have disc prolapse but MRI might not pick it up because the thing is our body part as you look here the one bone here another part is here another part is here but when the MRI machine takes the images from outside it is not such clear it has to go through so many objects so many other body parts as well I mean ligaments tissues and bones so the image is not clear all the time or not accurate 100%. So how you do the diagnosis for disc prolapse? To do that, what we need to have, we need to have the history of the uh, symptoms, I mean how uh, the pain started and how long the pain started and when the pain gets worse and what activities makes the pain worse. Other things uh, we need to think about to exclude some of the red flags. That means if we take the history, we might find some other things as well. As well. For example, the person, if there is no changes of appetite, that is a good sign. If there is a no history of ongoing temperature, or there is no history of unexplained weight loss or there is no history of cancer in the past. If the person don't have red flags and we know the history, the behavior of the symptoms, then finally we do the diagnosis based on some manual examination. We do straight leg raising. That straight leg raising might be false positive or false negative. So what is the uh, best diagnosis? We call it mechanical diagnosis and therapy. If that technique, the physiotherapist use certain kind of treatment techniques, abolish or reduce the pain or uh, symptoms get better, then we call it, uh, this is the way to do the diagnosis. That means there is a disc prolapse and that, that's why the, that mechanical treatment or diagnosis technique became effective. And other thing we need to remember as well, if we do diagnosis and treatment, I mean physiotherapists do the treatment and diagnosis at the same time, we don't need to wait to go for other kind of diagnosis because physiotherapy treatment and diagnosis is not harmful and it will not stop you to take other treatment or other diagnosis like CT scan, MRI, myelography or X-ray, anything you can have at the same time. So uh, based on history, symptoms, behavior, uh, manual examination and CT scan, MRI or X-ray can establish the diagnosis. Thank you so much.